Hey, bitch! What's good, YouTube? I'm you you're back again once again today, people. Today, we are here for the start of a new Let's Play here on the channel. It is, of course, Phoenix Rising, the newly released fan game, the newly released RPG maker, Pokemon game of sorts. I know we're like the last one to run up and tackle this game, but hey, y'all know the situation with the computer. It's better to play it now than not at all, forever and ever and ever now. This game has been in development for a very, very long time. My good amigo, Sacred Fire Negro. Oh, weird. Starting episode one off rhyming, goddamn. Uh, he's been talking about this game pretty much since I've met him years and years ago. And the running joke between him and I is that this game is never going to come out. It's never going to fucking come out. And of course, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Nicholas has a very um, long history, a very well-written resume of recommending games to me. Uh, RPG Maker games, fan games, or ROM hacks that are just completely, utterly, and totally trash. Now, I'm not going to say this is it, but <laughs> but it's one of those things where he always comes to me and says, yo, dog, I'm not going to lie to you, this game is some fire. And then we get normal version. You missed out on that, it's over on his channel. Then we get Alchemist. You missed out on that, it's over on his channel. Actually, Alchemist is still going on. If you guys don't know this, I'll include a link in the description below. Make sure you guys go and check it out. Uh, we're waiting to hear back about my hard drive so we can continue it. So in between now and then, why don't you catch up on the series? It's like a clean 10 episodes or so. But either way, we're here for some Phoenix, Phoenix Rising. If you guys are hyped and ready to uh, dive into this beautiful, beautiful game, I've heard nothing but good things about it, uh, then by all means, hit that like button down below for us. Because you know your support is greatly appreciated. Wait, I have to be clicked into the window. Gosh darn it. If for whatever reason, there's a Nuzlocke mode, Whoa, this is just a beta and we've got a Nuzlocke mode. Hold the fucking phone, dog. I don't know if I want to Nuzlocke this game. I don't... Do I... Wait, can... Nuzlocke mode is not available in this version of the game. Well... <laughs> I guess we're not nuzlocking this game. They're separate save files though. That's wild. Whoa! Whoa! That's crazy. That's crazy. Anyways, as I was gonna say. I wasn't expecting just to dive into it like that. Damn. As I was gonna say, as is with most part ones on this channel, I like to introduce myself formally. Hello, hi, my name is Nappy, and I'm not exactly PG, you know, I'm not a kid, I don't make content for kids, and if that bothers you, then go find someone who does! I'm sure they can suit your needs better. That's the TLDR version since this mother I'd like to befriend is staring at me here. Good morning, I have some last minute documents I need you to complete for Tr Trinita University. I'm still used as a mouthpiece for my school since I completed my studies there all those years ago. I could use it for a mouthpiece. First, they need you to create an avatar. Just create one that best expresses your personal style. Jesus Christ, I put the text speed on fast and it's like struggling to keep up, dog. Are you sure you like to play as this character? Fuck yeah! Great, that should do fine. Next, I need you to input your name here. Alto? That's the trainer name in this game? That's a brand of dog food. <laughs> I don't want to be... How do I... Oh, can I use the delete key? I don't want to be known as... You cannot use caps lock. So I'm guessing you cannot use delete. Alto is a brand of dog food, dog. Why would anyone... Interesting. Phoenix Rising uh, developers, do you guys know that? You guys know your main, your trainer is named after a dog food dog? Thank you for indulging me, Nappy. I bet you're looking forward to your adventure. Be sure to stop by my lab before you skip town. I have something you want to see. Ciao. Before I skip town, why can't I just leave? I'm not running from anyone. God damn. Oh my God! Shut the fuck up, it's starting. This looks like all the screenshots that I've seen for four years is lit. I like it because it's fourth gen graphics. That's the dopest thing about it, is that it's fourth gen graphics. 
you know, I say that like I've never seen that before. Pokemon Sage was like that. You know what? That that is the that's the standard. You I know you guys remember our Sage playthrough. That's the standard or multiple Sage playthroughs. That's the standard that I'm holding this game at. I've heard so much about this game from everybody for years and years and years that if this game is not anywhere near on par with Pokemon Sage and it does not just blow my socks off, I swear to God, dog. Hawthorne Woods. Ooh. I feel like I'm in Final Fantasy, Doug. Have I ever told you why I live in Hawthorne Woods, Nappy? Most assume I think that I long for a natural setting to be one with nature. Certainly the Pokemon here are kind and the flora is magnificent, yes. I even admit my cooking has greatly improved since I began my hermitage. Wait, should he have a Mexican accent or Hispanic accent? Because he has a sombrero on. What is his ethnicity? But I would, not, I would not live away from society for a pretty view. That would be silly. No, I live here because I find it pure. Out here, I am able to reflect on my life and think more clearly than ever I have. Than I have ever. Than I ever have. When I was your age, finding a thinking place was very simple. A quiet place. That's not so true anymore, yes. Now the world is very, very complicated. It sounds Asian. I, what am I? This is a good to keep in mind. Find a quiet spot to call your own. Think there, allow yourself the time to think on your life, your circumstances. For you see, Nappy, it is when one thinks that one realizes not all is right in the world. Uh, he ain't even on Hispaniola. Oh, what a windbag I am. Come, let us have our tea before you depart. Bro, I can do old dude voices, but not for monologues, dog. Not for monologues. You get quests in this game? Press the X key to open your menu. You can access your journal continue your quest there. What's the... Uh, okay. A new tutorial has been registered. Oh, boy. Uh, we need the running shoes, dog. That's what we need. Fuck quest logs, dog. Will this quest get us the running shoes? Is there an auto-run button available? Gosh darn. Bro, it seems like the game just gets louder in my headset. It just gets louder and louder and louder. Every time we get to a new area or a new sound effect pops up, it just gets louder and louder and louder and loud! Whoa. Level one. It is not 12 a.m. and it's definitely not 57 degrees outside, dog. That can't be based off of actual shit. Main side pokey hunt completed. Whoa, this game is wild. Wait a second. Wait, I thought it was... A lesson in destiny. Today is a day, but there are a few errands from before heading to Trinita University. Trinita. Meet the soothsayer for tea. Incomplete. I'm trying to do a pokey hunt, dog. Show me the red Gyarados. I know I'm supposed to go to the left, but I don't follow instructions. Press the Z key to use your running shoes. Fuck! Yes! Dog, they will never come off, dog. Z. Dog, Z. Wait, so then I can... Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, dog. Trainer tips. You can rearrange uh, items in your bag by holding down the confirm button while using the directional keys. Okay, before I hop down here, you want to tell me about ledges? Hey there! Did you know you can hop over these ledges to access lower areas? Only problem is I haven't figured out how to climb back up again. You need bounce, dog. What game was that? That, that was the thing. Was that glazed? Where you could use bounce to climb up ledges? Come, come! I have a lovely tin of biscuits for you to try. Uh, we're gonna go in this bitch, and some wild shit's about to go down. I already know some wild shit's about to go down. Hold up. You can find some pretty sweet stuff laying around the ground sometimes. Potions, Pokeballs, even TMs. But do you not know what a TM is? You got some learning to do. How about I put my foot in your ass, Doug? You ever think about that, boyo? Hmm. See, this is my, just my natural curiosity. I have to walk around. I have to look. Berries come in different varieties. Oh, I get it. You're supposed to look across the river and see the berry patch. And that's supposed to be adorbs. Oh, so this area, it, it don't matter. This It was just a giant tutorial area. So if I would have hopped down that ledge, I would have just crossed this bridge and came right back over here. So I guess no matter what we do, we have to speak to the sooth. It's here. Alright, here we go again.
<coughs> Excuse me. Nabby, I'm so glad you decided to come over one last time. It warms an old man's heart, truly. And on such a momentous day, off to Trinita University, and you're receiving your first Pokemon, yes. I'll turn on the kettle, Nabby. The elder kettle? Are you nervous about the events to come? You're in capable hands. I'm sure the good doctor will give you the best of the lot. You know Professor Lotus met with me before her own journey to your school. Trinity University surely snaps up the best talents of Hawthorne region. The both of you, the prides of our little nocturne town. Although it's a little different, although it's a different situation but with your father and all. Don't talk ill will about my pappy. I beat the shit out you old man. Where is it? The kettle? You don't know where the kettle is? There's the whole point of me coming here. I'm sure you're excited to see him after so many years apart. And your mother is doing well. Sad to see you go. Dog. How perplexing. Alright, dog. It's 57 degrees outside. It's too fucking hot for you to be using words like that. She's always been hard on your mother. Never phased by a thing. But to have her only child about to depart from her home must be trying. Why? When my own children took their leave from me, I... Uh, 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 he got a hole in his, in his house up there? I have some bad news, Nappy. I think, perhaps, there is a possibility. I am out of tea. So you just invite this little boy to your home in the woods all by yourself? All of a sudden, there's no tea. No one's home. All my kids have left. Oh boy, a momentous day. Oh, I'm embarrassed. I'm going dotty. Didn't even check my own stores. You know what? I imagine your mother has tea. Your father was a tea fanatic. Although I feel terrible asking this, could you run home and check with her? Without fail, a good cup of tea will calm your anxieties before this journey. You run over there, yes. You will. Wonderful. I'll be here waiting for your return. Ah, yeah! Collect tea bags from all! Hey, hey, I'm right on it! Visit the lab. Okay, what the fuck do I have to do first, huh? No idea what's behind here. Okay, it's the head of Exodia. Can I fall through the floorboards? Yeah. No, to the yo. Uh. Get him, got him. Nigga has tea right here. My nigga has tea right here. What am I doing here? Okay, so we have two objectives now. One to get tea, one to go to the lab. I'm gonna get the tea. Seems to be walking on some pokey fucking. Some pokey fucking. That Nita Ram was given that other Nita Ram the fucking me. Nocturne Town. The absolute schlonging of a lifetime. Professor Lotus's house. I'm just saying, if Professor Lotus is that first lady we met, it fits. Lotus is a very, like, you know, like, a built like a palm bottle kind of like, you know? You know what I mean? You, you, you get what I'm saying? Hello, Navi. So nice to see you. I remember when you were yay high. Most everyone in Nocturne Town is getting on in age. Not much is different here from when I was a young girl. It's because this place fucking sucks, dog. Let's blow this joint. Let's blow this joint. Mm-hmm. Where's Professor Lotus? Hey there, Navi. Are you looking for Professor Lotus? I haven't seen her since this morning. Have you checked her lab? Not there. She's probably gone away. Why don't you ask Tim where she is? The soothsayer might know, too. Who the fuck is Tim? And the soothsayer don't know shit. Not even his own fucking tea supplies. You find at least four bookmarks in various places. Imagine reading a book four times at once. Professor Lotus sounds like an idiot, if I'm being honest with you. Who does that? Who does that? Let's be real. Whoa. Whoa. Welcome to Nocturne Town. Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks, bro. He thinks I'm getting weird like Zelda vibes from this game. Weird Zelda vibes. I used to live in Salt Tempa City, which is a really exciting place to live. After a while though, I couldn't take the urban life anymore, so I came here. There are a lot of old people here. It's quiet. Really quiet. Oh. Wait, that trash can is jumbo size. Trash can is out of the side. Wait, wait. The trash can is the same model as the planter, dog. Look at it. It actually is. Like, that is that just with a plant in it. Hey, I'm on to you, Phoenix Rising devs. I'm on to you. You don't understand. I appreciate the little things in video games, and I'll find and point out every single one, dog. All your tricks, tips, and secrets, I'm going to find them out. Gosh darn it. When do I get my starter Pokemon? Who are the starter Pokemon? Hmm. 
My husband often takes walks around town. I suppose to be relaxing, but nothing ever changed here. I actually I don't know who the starter Pokemon are. I haven't had a computer for two weeks, so I don't know shit. All I know is everyone and their fucking mother plays this game. We are so lucky to have a Pokemon professor like Professor Lotus. In some ways, she really has put Nocturne Town on the map. Her intellect is incredible. She might be the smartest person in the region. She smart. Come on, dog. Let's be real. I'm not gonna say anything, but if I had to say something, I don't know if the she is the smartest. I mean, she's reading a book four times at once. Can she not keep up where she's at, dog? Like, next thing you're gonna tell me, Professor Lotus can drive. <laughs> Stop, I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's a joke. You know, I keep glancing at my webcam because, like, like, here in the YouTube office, I haven't gotten, like, the lighting down pat yet. So, it's really, really awkward because, like, sometimes I'll lean back and, like, it'll auto-adjust. So, it's super bright, right? And then I'll lean forward and it goes back to normal. So, I... Bear with me, okay? I'm well aware. I'm acknowledging it now. I'm breaking the fourth wall. I'm letting you know. Oh, Nappy, you're home early. Have you finished already? Oh, this is Mom. Normally, the soothsayer can talk me into the ground. That sweet old man. And pound you into the ground. He doesn't have tea. He didn't check for it before he invited you over for tea. But regardless, he needs tea bags. But I'm not sure we have any ourselves. Hmm. He really needs to be more responsible, living all alone out there. We both know it's not the first time that something like this has happened. Perhaps he could grow his own tea, surrounded by all that forest. Not that I don't sympathize with his choice. It's beautiful in those woods. Well, look at that. Tea bags. Not much, but it should be fine for your purposes. You know, I had this crazy thought that your father took all his tea with him. Maybe not so crazy if you remember, he did cart away that broken radio. You think he still has it? None of us has ever seen his place there. Dog, he got holes in every area code if you ain't ever been there. I'm sure you'll see the evidence of his tea addiction at the, at the bachelor pad. And you'll have to tell me if he dusts. He always terrible about that. Here, you put those in your bag for you. You'll lose them otherwise. First off, woman. Don't act like you know me. There you are, in the key items pouch. Open the menu and you'll see it there. Now, don't spend too much time on this tea business. You cannot be late. Professor Lotus is always so busy and she's doing you and your father a favor. Oh, it's F-A-V-O-U-R. What's going on? This is America! We didn't vote Trump into office to put up with incorrect spelled words. We're trying to make America great again, damn it. And step one is to spell favor correctly. Dog, we are all over the place in episode one. Hold. I shouldn't have done that. I have to go into the soothsayer voice again, and it's gonna be rough. <clears throat> if you dally, you'll end up with one of my hand-me-down Pokemon as your first. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I don't want your old raggedy, beat-up snubble. In fact, you were being considerate. If, if you were being considered, you would stop by the lab and check in. Collect tea bags from mom. Hey, thanks. Bring the tea bags back to the soothsayer. I feel like I want to do that before I go to the lab. Like, they're telling me to go check in at the lab, but you know what? Frick you. Yo. Yeah. Give me that podion. Give me that, give me that podion. Give me that, give me that podion. It's awful, only one outfit is so old fashioned. You know, that would have been dope if I could have walked up to the dresser and started changing my clothes, Doug. That would have been dope. Yo, is it nighttime? I can hear owls. I can't believe we're going to the university already. I hope I get a good dorm roommate. When I get to Trinita University, I'm going to join the Battler Guild for sure. First off, you're ugly. They don't allow uglies in the Battler Guild, so try again, ugly. Super ugly. Our Hawthorne region has many fascinating myths and stories. Professor Lotus, our native daughter, is the preeminent mythologist. She is often asked to discuss her work on television specials and whatnot. I know the myths, of course. I watched the specials to see Professor Lotus. Yeet skeet. Yeet skeet. Yeet ter skeet -er. Oh, Nap, you're leaving for Trinita University today. You'll travel through Tranquilo Town to get there. Nice, simple place. Not too different from us, really. It's just a quick walk through Route 1. So I'm guessing this is the lab. Ho oh, there! You see this map here, it's used for something called fast travel. I'm not sure how it works, but if you interact with it and choose where you want to go, you'll be taken there in an instant. You can only fast travel the areas you've already been, however. Me, I prefer to walk.
You walk your little dumb ass the fuck out of here, dog. Whoa! We're getting some spoilers! Holy boy! Hawthorne Woods, Nocturne Town, Route 1, Tranquilla Town, Trap Farm, Route 14, Quaver Island, Route 13, Route 12, Route 11. How do we how do we skip a whole how do we End Prelude Island? Old Hawthorne. Salt Tempo City, Route 10, Route 9, Cord Caves. Alassia City, Alassia Mountain. That's dope. Route 8. Venissimo City, Route 7, Cornell City, Route 15, Route 15 is jumbo size, that nigga is extra, extra large, dog. Route 6, Rivid Rividonia Town, Rividonia Town, Brass Heat Mountain, ooh, that is hardy, dog, Brass Heat Mountain, woo! Route 5, Trinita University, oh shit, Romanti Village, Route 4, Temple Stone Cave, Route 4, Ond City, on day requiem fields arietta forest i don't get the next route here okay excello village mesto mountain route three sonata town timbray woods biwa gardens huh interesting what's the little map thing in the bottom for this region is very reminiscent of kalos if i'm being honest the first thing i notice when i look at this is it literally reminds me of kalos that's okay that's okay. So I'm guessing since I visited every other building here, that this is in fact the lab, especially since it's jumbo sized. And I swear to God, if the starters are Wooper and Vulpex, I'm closing the goddamn game, Doug. I'm closing the game and I'm getting the fuck out of here, Doug. I will hit up Sacred Fire Negro and find some other shitty ROM hack for him to load up. You know what, we, we got the tea bags. Mom asked us to check in, I'll check in. Fuck it, why not? Why not? Uh, Nappy! Oh, hey! Smartest in the region. Sure. You're here early! Professor Lotus said you would be here way later than this. Oh, uh, you remember me, right? I'm Tim. We've met, like... I thought it was Professor Lotus. I thought it was a woman. Never mind. We could have got went and did our teabag business. I'm Tim. We've met, like, like twice? No, no. It's no big deal. Uh, well, well, Welcome! You're here for your first Pokemon, right? That's so exciting! We've been getting them ready forever. Should we wait for Professor Lotus? She said she wanted to be here for this, but I haven't heard from her since. Some kind of errand took her out to Tranquilo Town earlier today. Field work has never been my scene, so Lotus left me here to babysit. It's so funny that Lotus does that stuff all the time. She's a hero, sort of. But we actually know her in person, you know? We get to see the real her. Yeah. Uh, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm stalling, really. I just don't know when she's getting back. You're not that early. Maybe she's the late one. As if. I bet you're dying to see them, huh? The Pokemon, they're super cute. My nigga. Well, maybe I can let you look at them. Before she gets here, a sneak peek. That would be okay, right? I'm not usurping protocol. Yeah, it'll be fine. Come on, let's go take a look. Bro, Professor Lotus gonna beat that ass. Petalil is a starter? Growlithe is a star- What the hell kind of game is this? So, so this is Petalil, the bulb Pokemon. Cute, right? Real pretty. A grass type. They're a female-only species, and they love soil that's rich in nutrients. If you eat their leaves, you'll get a little energy boost. Of course, I've never tried one. Okay, moving on. Star you? This is Growlithe, the puppy Pokemon. Don't you love that hair, that shaggy mane? They're a fire type. Growlithe are domesticated Pokemon and they really get attached to you. Apparently they can smell your emotions. Weird, right? Super noses. Okay, last one. You excited? This is Staryu, my personal favorite. Aren't they cool? I love water types. They're the star-shaped Pokemon because they're superstars. <laughs> Plus, they're able to physically regrow their limbs, which is like, like, like insane. Oh, I shouldn't have done this. Now you really want one, huh? Look, why don't you just go ahead and pick one? The professor is going to give you one eventually, right? I can tell her later. And I know how exciting it is to own your first Pokemon. I'll be waiting at the front of the lab, so let me know when you've decided. Good luck, no pressure. I feel like I'm getting... 
Soft reset with F12. Sometimes you might want to reset the game, reload your save file. Remember to save first or you'll lose progress. Oh boy. Well, you know what? Is this a new quest? No? And you know what? It's, it's We haven't done it yet. I'm going to save my game right here, right now. And I'm going to end today's episode right here and let you guys choose who our starter Pokemon is going to be. <laughs> Joke's on you. <laughs> that was a prank. I'm just pranking you, dog. I'm just pranking you. Um, but what I did want to look at real quick. What I did. Whoa. I can walk up to it? Would you like the grass type petal load? No. No, I just wanna, I wanna, I just wanna get, whoa. Grow it. Grow it. Grow it. It's a beach. The water type star you. Okay, so my thing, I'm trying to remember. I think I'm getting it mixed up. I think I am, because Petalil was paired in Sun and Moon with Cottony, which means it's it's uh, stage one. I mean, basic to stage one. That's what I meant. It evolves into Lilligant when exposed to a Sunstone. Oh, they are all Stone Mons. I just got that Sunstone, Firestone, what? Oh, they're all sun they're all stone mons and they're all basic to stage one. So all the stars in this game only evolve once? See, I looked it up just now because I like the first thing that came to my mind was Petal Evolves and Lilligant. And I was like, am I missing a middle evolution? And I was thinking Swadloon, which is um Levani, Swadloon. I almost said Cascoon. Sea Waddle. Sea Waddle. Swadloon Levani. I don't know who I want to pick. I actually don't really know who I want to pick. Like, naturally, I want to say Growlithe because Arcanine is just dope as shit. I kind of am leaning more so towards Petalil, though, because it's more of a unique option, you know? Like, you don't really get to see Lilligant used in any Let's Play at all. But I know that Petalil is kind of buns and Lilligant's very one dimensional. Then there's Staryu, who is dope, but extra frail extra fucking frail so i feel like everyone and their mother chose growlith so i don't think i'm gonna choose growlith unfortunately and then it comes down to petalil or star you you know i'm a water type lover kind of leaning towards that uh, but i think i want to go with petalil I think just for the sake, I mean, this is just the demo. I'm sure we'll play this game again in the future when it comes out. We might do it differently, but I'm going to go with Petalo. Because how often do it, like, I know myself for a fact, I almost never choose the Grass Starter. I've played through every Pokemon game with the Grass Starter, but, you know, like I said, no, 90% of the time I choose Water types and I choose Fire types every now and then. I mean, pretty much if it isn't Venusaur, I really don't have any interest in any of the Grass type starters, unfortunately. I mean, Megadium is dope, but Feraligatr's right there. We're not even gonna talk about Sceptile. You're just you're just weird if you like Trico doll. I'm sorry. <laughs> I want you to know, like, I, I don't genuinely think that. It's just like the new like Kingdom Hearts for me. It's the new trigger troll thing to say. If you like Trico, you're just fucking weird. Like I get people that send me huge like paragraphs, essays, Declaration of Independence, Constitution size paragraphs explaining to me why Trico is the best and that how I'm I'm being rude to my fans by saying this. I'm like, dog. A joke bro like relax jesus christ but seriously if you like trico you're weird uh torterra I, i'd say i like torterra as well torterra is pretty fucking dope um superior is not bad either chestnut's dope too Yo, i like more grass stars than i thought whoa whoa except for decidueye i'm not really a decidueye fan he's all right i don't hate him but it's pretty much just venusaur torterra i like Superior chestnut or like B tier. No, Venusaur. I'm on a whole conversation about grass type starters right now. Venusaur and Torterra are S plus for me. A tier is superior and chestnut. B tier would be Meganium and. I just said his name. B tier would be Meganium. C tier is Decidueye. And then <laughs> F tier. Z tier. <laughs> it's fucking Sceptile, though. 
And I'm gonna trigger everybody because like all the hardcore edgy like every like everyone just like oh just said you are so cool and sometimes the ninja <laughs> no, I don't give a shit. I'm sorry. Lil Lil Hey, you know what? From the bottom of my heart, if you love your decidueye, if you love your septile, more power to you. You do the damn thing. Give a nickname to Petalil. Absolutely. I don't get to see if it's male or female. Elite key does not work. I don't get to see if it's male or female. Or are all Petalils female? I don't know. I don't know, but you know what? I'm just going to, uh... I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just name it, uh... All right. There we go. Sorry for the, the keyboard clicking. My girl, Becky. Let's hope Becky's not a boy. <laughs> I mean, it's 2018, Becky can be whatever he wants. Toggle Pokemon following by pressing control. If you ever wish to put your Pokemon back in this Pokeball, check it out again, just press control. Becky can follow. Becky can follow. Oh, this is so beautiful! Look, I'm getting a little teary-eyed. You're gonna love Trinita University, my alma mater. Especially now that you have a lifelong friend to help you through it. Yo, Pokemon, let's go Petalil, dog! That's what we're playing! Yo, hop on the top of my head, because that's not uncomfortable for either of us. Let's fucking ride. And now, we get to wait for Professor Lotus to get back from her trip. She still has some things to give you, advice or gadgets or something. I don't think I can let you go, exactly, without having seen her first. Life like a lotus. Look, I got tea bags to deliver, Doug. Oh, this is a good lesson. So Tranquilo Town is east of here. You would take Route 1 to get there. It connects Tranquilo to Nocturne. Route 1 is short and Tranquilo Town is really tiny. Smaller than Nocturne. So Professional Lotus won't be long. We'll just have to wait. Uh, okay, just because the distance isn't very far, just because the city isn't very large, doesn't mean she's not gonna be there getting ground pounded for the next 24 hours, Doug. Hey, 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 are you leaving? I, I thought... You're gonna help me explain the situation to Lotus, right? Thank you for waiting with me. I really appreciate the support. Professor Lotus is so talented, but she's also a little scary, right? Maybe you don't think that since you've known her for so long. Sorry. You know that I really respect her, right? I wasn't, like, trash-talking her. I swear. She's an incredible scientist, researcher, but her standards are crazy, you know? This is really awkward. You can go. No hard feelings. I'll explain to Lotus. I'll see you later, though. And this was really great, yeah? Yeah, have fun. Thanks, dog. Preach. What you got in this trash can? Candy wrappers? Rare candy wrappers, my nigga? Whoa. Yo, Becky, how you doing? Becky is pulling out the grass. Becky, how you doing, Becky? Hold up. Let me check my girl out, dog. Becky is female. Oh. Whoa. She's Pokedex number one. Whoa. Rash nature. Up special attack, lower special defense. I guess that's not terrible for a Lilligan. It's not like Lilligan's specially defensive to begin with. And we are a special attacker. Yo, got HP. We got HP though. Own tempo. Leafage. Whoa, it's the six gen ROM package. Whoa. Can I move this? Hey, thanks, bro. I don't know how this is gonna be in battle. I don't know if it's just gonna be vertical like that, but I think it is organized correctly. All right, so we completed that. What is our actual journalage though? What is our actual journalage though? Life like a lotus. Lesson in destiny. Bring tea bags back to the soothsayer. Oh, wait. This is visit the lab. Complete. Collect tea bags from mom. Hey, so that's still a part of that. Lotus seems to be out of town, but wants to meet you on your way. Okay. Okay, so we still need to go back and see the soothsayer to complete our first quest. Alright, I got this shit, dog. I got this shit. You think our mom wants to see our fucking Pokemon, dog? I think I already passed our mom's house, so... Yikes. Never mind. She's not gonna get to see Becky right now. Not gonna get to meet my girl Becky. Where'd the fucking Nidorans go? Like, literally, the Nidorans that were having intercourse. Where did they go? Okay. Where... Where... I was about to say, you better be here. Went and got this tea and came all the way back. Oh, never you've returned, I'm glad. Did you hear very much of that when you entered the room? I know you have witnessed me 
experienced the visions before, yes. The premonition which passed was very powerful. I feel sapped of energy. Glimpses of death, darkness, rabid flames, engulfing nocturne down. Such an ill omen vision is rare, but one cannot succumb to hysteria. To fix it on the end of the world, it would make it impossible to fully live one's life. Let us drink. Tea is a fine remedy for such stresses. To you, Nappy, and your future travels, may you find success everlasting. Hey, thanks, dog. This was very, very nice, Nappy. Thank you. I feel completely refreshed. And be sure to thank your mother for me again. It was good tea, yes. Now, a final piece of advice. Should you ever question your path, please return here. I shall put on a kettle and perhaps a vision will grace me. But surely, together, we can help you to ascertain your next step. Keep up with your studies. Train your Pokemon well, and I'm sure I'll see you, uh, see you soon. Ye Ski! Yo, I'm teabagging old men, dude. Yo. A lesson in destiny. A lesson in destiny completed. Okay, so we delivered our tea bags. We got our starter mod. Now we need to go and I'm trying to remember which house was ours. Was it actually this one? No, this is the old lady who said her husband walks around. Wait, her husband's back. I thought this was her husband out here. Holy shit, dog. Plot development. I love a nice walk during the day, the sun shining, the birds chirping. I used to love nighttime walks as well, but I'm too old now. My eyesight isn't what it used to be. Your eyes only work during the day, dog? The fuck? What the hell? I don't remember where our house was at. I don't remember where our house was at. Could you please tell me where our house was at, please? Tranquilo Town isn't far from here. You know this, though. We've been plenty of time since you were a child. Just head east and follow the path. You'll be safe with your Pokemon. Come back if you'd like to take a rest and heal your Pokemon. Okay. She's cool with it. And Homeboy said, "I'd like come back if you ever have questions or something. So if we get lost, we can just go see the soothsayer. And he'll be like, nigga, go to Celadon City. I'll be like, hey, yo, thanks, dog. Anyways, I think before we head out to uh, Uglyville, I think we're going to go ahead and save our game here and wrap shit up we got eight grand holy dick wrap shit up in the next episode we will head towards tranquilo town of course uh phoenix rise is gonna be uploaded daily till we beat the bitch so make sure you are here every day until we beat the bitch and of course this friday saturday friday june 8th i believe is the date and june 9th are gonna be super lit for the channel i should have mentioned this at the start of the video <sighs> make sure you're here anyways if you guys enjoyed the start of phoenix rising uh, and of course, if you're a proud of the Nappy Nation, make sure to like button down below for us because you already know you're supposed to appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, your boy is Audi 5 Bajillion. Bye!